Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this repeating isometric cube pattern. Uh, it's basically just isometric cubes laying on top of each other, maybe a bit staggered, and these little circles in between uh, the tips of some of these cubes. So, to get started, really simple. We're going to create a perfect box, about so big. Give it a stroke of six. Oh, this is on the canvas of 1280 by 720. And we're going to make sure that it has no fill. So we'll end up with a box about that big. Make it maybe a bit bigger. Having done that, we're going to right click on our box. We're going to go to transform and we're going to shear it by 30 degrees on the horizontal axis. Then we're going to right click, we're going to go transform and we're going to rotate it also by 30 degrees. Now I'm just going to make sure this is in the right layer, put it right there for now, perfect. Having done that, we're going to use our circle tool and create a small circle with no stroke, only fill, and we're going to align it to this point where both of these lines match. We're going to hold alt and we're also bringing it down to this point right here, equivalent point down there. Just make sure it's centered by pressing control Y, perfect. Now we're going to select both of these points, we're going to copy them, and we're going to put them in the layer just above by Control shift v and now they're pasted in place. Now we're going to close the, turn off the visibility for that layer, like that. Then we'll select both of our objects, close this, and we'll go to Pathfinder and we'll minus the front. So now we get this kind of bicycle frame like shape. We'll use our direct select key, click on the path right here delete it and then click on the path right here also and delete it perfect now we're going to turn back turn our layer on again and we're going to select both of these points right here we're going to press ctrl c ctrl shift v so we'll paste it in place and we'll go to our free transform or our transform right here we're going to make sure that this box right here this reference point is checked and we're going to flip it on the horizontal axis, like so. Having done that, we're going to select all of this. We are going to go Control C, Control. Well, actually, we don't actually have to do that. We're going to select all of this, and we're going to use the Reflect tool, which is right here it's under the Rotate tool and Reflect tool. And we're going to hold Alt and click on the center right here at this point. And then we're going to reflect that all by on the horizontal axis, making sure by the center. And then we're going to press copy. So we make a copy of it. Having done that, we're just going to delete all these circles. We don't need them anymore. There's two in the center. So now we have this shape right here. Now the last thing that we're going to do is very important. And I'm actually going to not delete those shapes. I take that back. <laughs> Select the last thing we're going to do, we're going to create a box by pressing M. And we want it to be centered at the center of here to this point right here, like that. With that box selected, we're going to make sure that it doesn't have any fill or stroke. And we're going to put that into this third, the second layer, so the same layer as your shape. We're going to get rid of our circles now. We don't need them. We're just using them for reference points. Like that. Now, that's one too. And now, we're going to make sure that this box that we selected is at the bottom underneath of all this. And this will correspond to the boundary, bounding box of the, of the pattern itself. <laughs> Almost out of battery there. So we're going to right click a range and we're going to send it to the back. So now we see that this bounding box is at the back of the shape. Then we're just going to select the entire shape. We're going to go into our swatches palette right here and we're just literally going to drag it into here like so. With that done, let's move this out of the way and we're going to make a box across to here. So you want the shape that you want to have the pattern and we're going to give it this pattern. There you have it. 
don't worry about these lines in here, this is just uh, Adobe anti-aliasing. Otherwise they would be repeating every second shape. But that's uh, basically how you do it. So you can control the shape of this, you can make it a bit smaller, and drag it into here, and then apply it with this one to give them a finer shape. But basically you can play with it yourself and find something that you like to do. So there you go. Um, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. Check out our other videos. We have a whole bunch of videos on the isometric grids, how to make one of these boxes with one single click, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for checking us out. Ciao.